Hi, I'm Eric from ProLight and welcome to this how-to video. In this video, we're going to show what is the right way to assemble a truss structure. At least, in this case, the truss span. What is allowed and what is not allowed. The first thing, which is of most importance, of course, that you make the proper connection with the right connectors, the pins, and of course, don't forget the clips. Then a little bit about the pattern. The webbing pattern is running in a certain way. Now what you can see here is that it's quite running smoothly, all triangular shapes and the diagonals are running here nice in a triangular shape. On the bottom part I made a different setup. Here you can see the webbing pattern running, but here we have two parallel running braces. And the question we get a lot is, is that allowed, yes or no? Well, truss modules are designed to use on its own or in combination with others, like here. In this case, for the ProLite truss, all our figures are based on both situations. So for the ProLite trusses, it doesn't matter if the diagonals run here in a triangular shape or here on the bottom part, parallel running. Because all the truss modules are determined by end members. And the end members will make sure that we have a triangular shape here again and a triangular shape there again, so it keeps its strength. So all the loading data we give on the website and published in our catalog are based on the situation like here in the upper span and it will be the same for us in the lower span. The only person who could start to complain is the light designer. Most light designers want to have a symmetric pattern of the webbing on the left side of the stage, which should be the same as on the right side of the stage. Therefore, it is wise to use it in this situation. Strength-wise, it doesn't make any difference. All our trusses are calculated for this situation, but also for this situation. I'm Eric from ProLight. Thank you for watching this video. And more information about the shown products can be found back at ProLight.com. And the videos will be shown at a4i.tv. See you next time.